Hello, sports fans, and welcome to uh, to the Scott Sports 101 uh, ALDS Indians versus Astros postgame show. Well, the Tribe fell to the Houston Astros today, 7-2 to two, at Minute Maid, Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. Corey Gruber was on the mound for the uh, good guys today. Gruber went four uh, and two-thirds innings, and Justin uh, Berlander was on the mound for the Astros. And Verlander went five uh five uh, point one innings and Gruber gave up uh four earned runs, uh uh two hits and struck out two batters. Uh it was a pitcher's duel through the top of the fourth inning, then Gruber showed signs of trouble and collapsed. As he gave up two runs in the bottom of the fourth, and it was a two nothing Astros lead. Uh then uh, the Tribe went 1-2-3 in the fifth, did not score, could not get on the board then, so they were still uh, scoreless. But Gluber again gave up two more runs in the in the fifth, and it was a 4 nothing Astros lead, and that was going to do it for Corey Gluber. His pitching day was over. And uh, Francona went to the bullpen, and Adam Simber came on in the bottom of the sixth, and uh but before that, uh I need to mention uh uh Francisco Linder and Juan Gomes scored the tribe's only two runs in the uh six. Both of them were home runs actually that were scored. And uh and uh, uh Adam Simber, as I indicated, came on in the bottom of the sixth. Uh Simber went uh one inning but uh got all three guys out. He was able to go do a one three inning. Cody Allen came on in the seventh and gave up two hits and two runs, and it was a uh, six to two Astros lead. And then Trevor Bauer came on in the eighth and struck out the first batter, but gave uh, two uh, gave uh, two hits. And then uh, Dan Ontario uh, came came on in the bot- to finish out the eighth and gave up uh, two hits and a two more hits and another earned run. Uh, would score that the Astros would score, and it was a seven to two Astros lead. Uh, Ast- that the Astros led, and the Tribe did try to rally in the ninth, but uh, Kipnis got on base, but they were not able to get him home, and the Astros uh, win and go up one to nothing in the uh, uh, best of five series, and the Tribe falls to zero and one. Justin Verlander, the winner, and Corey Gruber uh, suffers a loss. He gets the loss. So, the Tribe, just, I feel, just collapsed. again. I don't know what it was today, but I feel the Tribe, just, you guys just collapsed, and I just feel that you guys just, you did not dominate well. You tr- you showed it, but you didn't dominate well, and the Astros just had, had the Tribe's number today. They're... The Tribe Bats, they just could not get going. They only got two runs on three hits today. And uh, the uh, the Astros had uh, seven runs on 13 hits, no errors, and Tribe didn't have any errors either. And uh, so, which means that the, uh, the Tribe will, uh, the Tribe will regroup and, uh, and they will, and try to take game two of this, of this ALDS series, <coughs> ALDS series against the Houston Astros tomorrow at Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. Uh, Carlos Carrasco on the mound for the good guys with a record of 17 and 10, and Garrett Cole on the mound for the Astros with a record of 15 and 5. I feel this is a must win for the tribe and tribe and I I, I tribe I ha, I have to say I do feel it's a must win for you guys because the tribe does not want to come back down back to Cleveland down uh 02 they want to even up this series at one game apiece and I feel that's what needs to happen they need to come out and they need to Carrasco needs to dominate and he has to, needs to pitch like he's never pitched before and those tribe bats need to get going. You've got to score runs. You've got to score a ton of runs tomorrow. And you've, you've got to get these guys out. The tribe offense, tribe defense, you've got to dominate. You've got to catch those balls. You've got to not let the Astros get on base. That's what I'm saying. 
And I feel a lot of sources and a lot of the media is going to agree with me on this. And because I really, uh, this got, this could, uh, these, these problems can put it, have the tribe doomed in the playoffs if they don't get it together. And I, don't, I know the tribe fans do not want their postseason to end early. They want to, they want their fan, the tribe wants it to go on. They want the tribe in the ALCS, but there's no guarantee they'll get there, but, uh, we'll see, but they would like to try to get back to the World Series, but there's no guarantee that they'll get back to that. We're going to have to see what happens. But I know the Tribe fans really want their tri- they want their team to really win this series. And I feel that they are three games to one. And if they can even up this series at one game apiece and come back clean at that, that'll be a big plus on our side for the Tribe. And I just feel that... Uh, uh, that's what needs to happen tomorrow. And uh, I know Terry Francona, the Tribe skipper, was not happy today with the loss. And I know uh, he feels that the Tribe could have done better. And he feels that uh, he knows that Gluber did show signs of trouble. And he feels that the bullpen just could not get it together either today. They, the bullpen collapsed as well. And they just could not get it together today. And that's why the Tribe is really going to have to look at their mistakes. They're going to have to really study the Astros hard and really get it together and take Game 2 tomorrow. And you can catch all the game coverage on TBS on the first pitch is at 4.30, 7 p.m. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, uh, game 1 of the, of the uh, Yankees-Red Sox ALDS series gets underway tonight at... Uh, Seven thir- at seven thirty uh, or at at seven thirty at uh, Fenway Park in Boston, and I really think this is going to be a tight series between the Yankees and the Red Sox, and I feel and I am not I feel I feel that Boston is going to take this series. I think it's going to go on five games, three games to two, and I really think Boston is really going to take this series, and I feel. The Yankees, I feel, they've struggled in some areas, but they've dominated, though. But I feel Boston is really going to, I think, have the Yankees' number in this series. But we'll see what happens. And uh, so we'll, and uh, um, I think and the NLDS series are both underway. I think I, I'll have to get those scores to you at another time. But I know the those series are really, uh, I think, I think the Dodgers won that one yesterday. And I think the other series, I uh, is playing right now between the Rockies and Brewers, and they're up one. The Brewers are up one to nothing right now, and I really think, and I really think that I think the, I think the Brewers are going to take this series three games to, to three games to <coughs> two. Excuse me, and I think that's what's going to happen with that series. So uh, we'll have to see what happens with all these, uh, with all the MLB playoff series in the uh, ALDS and NLDS. So I, I but I really think, and I think the sources are going to agree that tomorrow is a tomorrow's game two between the Tribe and the uh, uh, Astros is a must must win for the Tribe, and I feel that it is a must win for the Tribe that they need to even up this series at one game apiece and come back with the series tied, come back to Cleveland with the series tied, and I feel like they need to take game three on Monday, go up two games to one. And then close it out in Game 4 on Tuesday at Progressive Field so that we can really move on to the ALCS. And I feel I feel if the Tribe can get it together, they can take these next three games. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But I feel if they can do it because I think Trevor Bauer is going to start Game 3. And Game 4, if it goes to that, I think Mike Clevenger will be starting that game. I believe it's going to be Mike Clevenger. So we shall see what happens um, on that with the with those three games. It, should I get the game for them? We'll see what happens if that one too. Uh, well, that is going to wrap it up for the uh, Scott Sports 101 ALDS uh, Tribe Astros post game show. Um, I will try to have a, a pregame and post game show for tomorrow's games, but I have other things going on, so I it may or may not be tomorrow. So if not. I will be seeing you on Sunday for Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday Week 5. 
uh, early and uh, late game uh, action and Sunday night football and also Monday night football on Monday night. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody, and hopefully the Tribe will win game two tomorrow. Three, two, one. I'm done.